Hello everyone, welcome to Motivational Medicos. My name is Pulkit Gupta and in this video we are going to talk about the perineum. So without wasting time, let's get started. So as you can see in the figure, this diamond shaped structure, I am highlighting the structure, this diamond shaped structure, whether in the male and the female, you can see this structure. This is in male and this is in female. This structure, this diamond shaped structure is the perineum so basically this perineum is present uh, below the pelvic inlet below the pelvic diaphragm basically it is present below the pelvic diaphragm the space present below the pelvic diaphragm till the pelvic outlet is the perineum present so this perineum you can see if we see the boundaries now seeing the boundaries of the pelvic uh, perineum so there are superficial as well as deep boundaries so to understand uh, first of all let's see anterior boundary you can see anteriorly what structure is present in the male you can see the scrotum present while in the female you can see the mons pubis present in anteriorly so anteriorly uh, the structure present in the scrotum in the male and the mons pubis in the female while posteriorly what is present you can see in the diagram as well that uh, on the posterior is a buttock present whether male and the female in both uh, buttock is present well on each side is a thigh present so you can see the upper medial aspect of the thigh you can see clearly in the diagram that uh, on uh, both the lateral side is the thigh present so in the male and female you can see this is a structure this is a diamond shaped structure perineum uh, form where in which the anteriorly is the scrotum present the male and mons pubis in female while posterior is a buttock present and on lateral side there's a uh, thigh present the medial aspect of the thigh so this is perineum these are the superficial boundaries of the perineum now let's see the deep boundaries what do you mean by deep let's see if we remove the skin the structure present you can see this is bone yes i am talking about the bone and the ligament so this structure this is sacrum and this is coccyx so this structure i am removing this structure and it will appear like this so this is the structure so you can see this is the ischial ramus this is ischial ramus as well as the ischial tuberosity so anteriorly you can see it's the ischial pubic ramus and this tuberosity like structure the ischial tuberosity and anteriorly is a structure that is arcuate inferior pubic ligament present while you can see uh, posteriorly is a structure that is tip of coccyx present while you can see one ligament is present which is coming from sacrum to the ischial tuberosity that is tuberosity so the name of that ligament will be sacrotuberous from sacrum to the tuberosity that is sacrotuberous ligament so this sacrotuberous ligament let's see the boundaries of the deep uh, perineum deep structure of the perineum so anteriorly you can see what is present is the pubic ligament so yes it will be arcuate pubic ligament present anteriorly what is present posteriorly it is clearly seen in the diagram it is tip of coccyx present posteriorly and on each side now this is important first of all anterolaterally anterolaterally you can see the structure present is the conjoint ischio pubic ramus part of the hip bone is the conjoint ischio pubic ramus while laterally present is the ischial tuberosity you can see it is ischial tuberosity present laterally and if we see posteriorly so is present the sacrotuberous ligament present so you can see the deep boundaries that is uh anteriorly is the ischial pubic ligament uh basically the pubic ligament and now the posterior is the tip of coccyx now the laterally we see so first one is the ischial pubic ramus now we go more laterally there's the ischial tuberosity and if we say posterior laterally is the sacrotuberous ligament present so these are the deep boundaries of the perineum now uh, basically this perineum is uh, divided into two triangles so basically this is a structure we already talk, talked about so from the ischial tuberosity see this is ischial tuberosity you know this is ischial tuberosity so this imaginary line passing from the ischial tuberosity this imaginary line uh, divides this perineum into two triangles the first one is urogenital triangle and the other one is an anal triangle so this is also from uh, this in male and this will be in female 
so in the male you can see is a urethra present while in female you can see urethra and vagina present that's why it's calling it urogenital triangle while the anal triangle as a name is suggesting anal canal present that's since it is anal canal present that's why it's calling it anal triangle so you can see there are two triangles due to the imaginary line which are drawn from the ischial tuberosity that is urogenital triangle and the anal triangle in the urogenital triangle there is urethra and in the female it is urethra and vagina while in anal triangle there is anal canal present so in the anal triangle we can see uh, there is an anal canal as well as a ischiorectal fossa present on both the side this fat basically ischiorectal fossa is just is a fat filled space which helps in dilation uh, at the time of defecation or at the time of pregnancy so this is the structure about the perineum so that's it for the perineum this is all about the perineum if you like this video please like share subscribe and guys don't forget to press the bell icon thank you guys